Okay. Be fake now. <laughs> Excited. Hiya. <laughs> what's up y'all welcome back to another episode of two girls and a cup this is our sixth episode so far so good <laughs> as you can tell we're really yeah excited, excited. So excited. i think it's just the weather man it's just the weather it's just been a really rainy couple of days and i think the weather's kind of no but we, we really are excited i swear we're so excited <laughs> like look <laughs> hello the, from the face let's just get on with the shaking okay That's the topic. Yeah. <laughs> I actually remember folding it, and I was just thinking about how what we would say if we got it. Like we could say a lot of things about cat calling. Starting off with start firing more a little bit. <laughs> um, starting off with obviously you've experienced, you've been in a situation where you've been cat calling. But I think there's also this topic where some women feel good about themselves when they're cat called. Oh, it's like it's like a form of attention. Yeah, right? it's like oh, a form yeah. of like. I'm pretty. Yeah, that's why they're calling. Like, have you seen the two drivers, the bus drivers here in they Sri Lanka? Anyone? Anyone? <laughs> if you're 60. Even like the bikers, or like even the guys on like bicycles. Oh my god, yeah. I had one experience once. I think I was like waiting for the bus, and then this like motorcycle came, yeah. and he was just not leaving, and he kept on to be like, no, I think the worst is. Oh, oh man, I hate it. She gets so triggered. I'm like, hmm. Bro, she's like turn and she's like, what? <laughs> I would. That that's so triggering. First of all, it's not even worse. They put us to such a such a low level where they are just making sounds at us, and that's supposed to be. It's it's a form of harassment, to be honest. You're doing to a girl on the road. What? Well, if you look up on Google, catcalling is actually a form of harassment. That is most often directed at women. Okay, now it's more than just a passing comment. It's about making a person feel unsafe, uncomfortable in public spaces, and there's so much of problems with this. So many. Uh, I, I mean, it's 2024, and I feel like people have actually evolved. That it's a bit less now, but even in 2024, it's still happening. So. I don't know when that's gonna stop. I mean, if you're like, ca- especially like, it's like the ones who are just on the road. Like sometimes there's a way to approach a girl, not by making sounds at them or like making unwanted comments about their outfit or their body or their especially, hair. Like, why you gotta make a girl feel so weird? If you feel like if they're pretty, just be like, hey, I find you really pretty. Yeah. Don't be like, I like you. Ambola Sinagagana. Someone else. Yeah. I was gonna talk yeah. to you. No, like sometimes when they're like, let's say you're walking on the road and like they will pass you by on like a motorcycle or whatever. They're like, Ambola <laughs> Sinagagana. I like, swear. That is rude. School boys. The school boys. School boys have this. Okay, the school boys. I was <laughs> passing by a school today and I was coming right now and I had to get in the bus and these school boys from my thing. I'm not gonna mention the name the school. Of the school obviously. <laughs> no, no, no. But these boys, they were just like, "Aki, aki, no go, aki, homer." I'm like. I know it's, it's, it won't stop with it. I mean, especially if it's like schoolboys Do you know doing his this. His height, his height is like this, <laughs> and he's like aki, aki. I'm like, hello. Oh God, maybe he has a thing for sugar mummies. Oh God. <laughs> I think I have a thing for sugar mummies. <laughs> I do too. Same. Generally. <laughs> But but let's say like imagine like even the small small boys are doing it now. That means it's never going to stop. <laughs> but that's kind of a thing. If you're loving this behavior, if you're also friends with people like this, you should be like, dude, cut it out. Don't do that. That's so. the thing. You got to spread the word. Yeah. And because it's not nice, I wouldn't say it's not nice anymore. It was never nice to begin with. But I feel like we're at a day and age where people are more understanding now, and so many things have come uh, to light. And people are actually have changed. I wouldn't say it's bad as before. Yeah, I think. I mean, that's that's also because I don't walk on the road as much. Yeah. 
you know what I mean? Like back then when we were young, we used to just be on the road, we used to hang out and chill out. I think there's a certain limit also, and I don't think men, because women don't get called. Let's be honest, we don't go around to you guys and be like, hey, I like your shorts. <laughs> like, you know, we don't do that, right? But in some Age rural limits. areas, I, I, you know, there are. I mean, I would love to see women do it. Controversial again. Don't cancel me. But honestly, like, someone if someone does it to me, I would do it back to them. That's like the attitude I have. Like, you you scream at me, like making unwarranted comments about me. I will do the same to you. Apparently, it's not legal to get called in the US. That's in the US, but is well, it it's not <laughs> Where you can even jaywalk and no one will care. So we're back after more googling. Yeah, because you know we're chronic googling. So. <laughs> And one thing we actually found out was the self-imaging and, of course, self-harm that we do to ourselves as women. Because when we get catcalled and... You, you know, doubt we, yourself. We doubt ourselves, you right? You question yourself. Like, oh, this outfit was too provocative. It's my fault. I shouldn't have worn this. Or maybe this top was a little bit too much. I should have put a coat over it. Or I should have worn a shawl. You know, we keep saying these things to ourselves. And I think it's sad that, you know, even I have friends who... We wear a really nice outfit and they feel good about themselves and they'll just they step take on out. the road and that's that's they, where it's over for them. Yeah, and they'll take out like a big jacket and they'll just be like, <laughs> like where's your no, no let's shoe? say one one woman is walking down on the same road every morning to work. And every morning the same incident happens over and over again. She she gets cat called over and over again. Mm-hmm. What's going to happen after that? She's going to feel well, you're not gonna step on that road again. In the morning, you're going to work. You know, it's just sad to see things like that still happening. Like, you could be literally going to the corner shop and you'll still get catcalled. And let's not be daft and just blame on what we are wearing at the moment because, please. But I think what people don't realize is there are kids as well. There's kids that, yeah, small girls. You really don't know because now the 15 is like the new 20 and sometimes even I can't tell them apart. Yeah. But what I'm trying to say is like it's really harmful for them because they might be like, oh, I have to get to school or university or my after school classes and you're just doing this. Mm. And they're like, <laughs> what is this? And sometimes that you just do it in, you know, this in Sri Lanka, what's more famous is like they do they eat bullet mm-hmm. and then they throw it like sometimes let's say you're walking and there's a man just chewing his bullet and then he will spit it right out in front of you that is so disgusting i don't know why people do that that's disrespectful disrespectful it's like what are you trying to... and sometimes they just lift up their shirt and they're like putting it putting yeah. their hands on their hips and like just looking at you staring up and down it doesn't bus have to be a cat- bus thing, my <laughs> God. i think i'm just talking about bus drivers at this point dude the bus is the worst <laughs> place sometimes you have to be aware at all times because you never know who is sitting next to you and even though that's like you know you give them space like imagine yeah. like you're sitting and I'm just like giving you you're giving me space to sit yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'm like don't you like just go like that I do and I'm like no <laughs> <laughs> the fact that they do it is sad literally and I'm like whoa, whoa straight just... up punch them <laughs> and I think they just get scared because they just look at me like this and I'm just over there like yeah yeah <laughs> Yeah, no, it's just like, we should like, like what are the what are some other cat calls like? Number one is the sound, mm-hmm. and um, nangi nangi, nangi, ah nangi. Yeah, <laughs> it might be funny for some of you who are listening right now. It might be funny, and there there must be like some yeah. thrill out of it. But again, let's say you're walking alone and this happens to you with a bunch of random guys on the road. I would be so scared. I'm not even kidding. Like I'm like alone by myself and like you know, let's say not even not even in the night. Just in the morning you could walk around and there's like a bunch of men in the corner and they'll just voice this out to you. I know and I immediate thought is look down, look down, look, look down, down, look down, look down, down just, just walk, walk, just walk. That's all like little And then walk. sometimes they just follow you around until they get a response from you. Until you reply to them, until you say something they sometimes might even follow you so that's how scary and crazy the whole situation about cat calling is I think that's just me no, but we've all been through it we've all experienced it I mean if you are someone who has stepped on the road at least once in your life then yeah you must have experienced it if you haven't it's okay <laughs> if you haven't yeah. it's fine <laughs> bye bye
peace. Peace out. Peace out. What is this? Sixth, ne? Sixth episode. Can we get on your? What up, y'all? <laughs> What's up, y'all? Hello. <laughs> <coughs> oh my god! <laughs> Already. I'm under the weather. Under the weather. I'm under the water. I'm under the. Please help me. Oh shoot! I like it. Like... Oh. <laughs> What just us? <laughs> oh, we'll take some time here, bitches. Like, mm. <laughs> what is like that? That's how I talk to my dog. Like, I always be like, come, come, come. That's how we get cut cold. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what that's what that's the level that they put us into when they can't call us. That's how I talk. Call my dog. Like, come, 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 baby, hey, dog. And then they call us in that way on the road. That's like well, instant karma. <laughs> But that's it's cute to call your dog like that. <coughs> just my opinion. I think I just don't like the names some people have. <laughs> Dude, it happens. Trust me, I just make up instant words like at the point. Oh, no, like when I, I see them, I'm just like, <laughs> I don't even want to say my name. <laughs> That's the crazy. That was like the names I come up with. I think I once came up with the name of my cat. No, no, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your name? What's your name? Um, if I were to get a dog, I'm gonna name it Beef. 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 Like peeve. Oh. Peeve. <laughs> <laughs> you think you just got it? Yeah. <laughs> Not the peeve, guys. Peeve. 